Hey, it's Kathleen. For a couple of years now, I've been trying to reconnect with my own body using the Alexander Technique and meditation, and it's helped quite a bit. What I found recently is that because I'm connected with my body, I'm feeling more pain than I did before. It's not horrible pain, but it's pain nonetheless. And not only that, but now I can see and feel where the disconnection still exists and where my body actually feels stuck. Like it won't move. It's almost like there's a black hole in parts of my body that I, I can't seem to move. So I, I decided to work one-on-one -on -one with a yoga teacher and a personal trainer. They each gave me some exercises to do that were different. Having a different perspective would be helpful, I thought. This morning marks the start of a shift I'm taking in that journey. The reason I'm making this video is to hold myself accountable for what I'm doing. I started doing one of the exercises, which was called cat and cow. And I could tell that I was trying to force my body to get to a certain position rather than really paying attention to the intention behind the exercise. And not only that, but as I was doing this exercise, it was hurting. Not terrible pain, but hurting in a way that I knew it wasn't helping me at all. And so I was trying to ace the exercise and therefore not fulfilling its real purpose. I knelt down into child's pose and started crying. And then I said to myself, Kathleen, you are going to set an intention for these exercises. The intention of these exercises is to connect with yourself, is to bring more energy and flexibility and freedom into all of your body, not just the parts that have it now, and to potentially develop strength. It is not to ace the exercises. It is not to force yourself to do something that isn't working. And then I told myself that any millimeter of movement or freedom was a good thing and to be celebrated whether I could feel it or not and that it was up to me to trust the process and rather to try and force myself to excel at the exercise that I needed to take it as it was do what my body could do and let my body decide how it was going to answer the intention. And that's what I did. I have no idea if it worked or if I was just trying something and failing miserably. What I do know is this, that by setting the intention, I was giving my body the freedom to figure it out for itself because honestly, it knows better how to adjust itself than I do. It knows what to do. It knows how to balance. And so today is the first day of this journey of setting the intention and letting my body do what it knows how to do best and recording my emotional and physical progress as I go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this encourages you to go on a journey of exploration too. See you next time.